Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's actually this afternoon and it, I'll just show you. It has been raining. Basically, is today Tuesday? Two, two days. And uh, now it's snowing. Trying to get the bean planters ready to rock and roll. Um, but on the new 3605, we're gonna have to do some stuff to it. Um, gonna have to get the front row units put down because they were, it is in corn mode right now. We need to switch a hitch. I don't know if I've told you guys this or not because I've bragged about it a couple of times. I got this one inch drive set, impact sockets. Like all these sockets, I think that's like a three, three inch right there. And then I also got a one inch impact air gun for uh, less than a hundred bucks at a farm sale. You know why? Oh my gosh. You know why nobody else wanted to buy this socket set? Because they didn't have big enough nuts. <laughs> I'll tell you what else. <laughs> <laughs> it took him a second. <laughs> no, it didn't. I got it. I ain't you have the victory with that. <laughs> Nothing, because who in the hell would want to work on anything that requires What'd that? What'd you do? How'd you get it? It's like... Yeah, you, well, I put it on, and then now it's on there. I got him. I want that little half of it. Yeah. You know what farmers do? They have a plan and then they switch their plan 4,000 times. We've been talking about moving this up one hole for a week. Now we're here. This I don't know if that's the right way. Like this, How many years this guy. Plum goofy. That's eight inches of He's still there. talking and you don't even know it yet. Did you hear me? Yeah. No, you did. Eight inches of clearance. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Anyway. Well, we have to know how high the hitch is. Yeah, she was off in the truck. Farmers, I tell you. I don't like a little tight space for a guy. Good. We can just bring the, good, we can just bring the tractor over, I guess, now. This is my dog that my parents pawned off on me, named Clevis. I brought it to my house on Easter for my children. About the size of a rat. Don't tell saving my daughter, but uh, for sale if anybody's interested. We're just raising that hitch up because of the drag and the dirt. I think it was a little bit of a safety issue too, going down the road to hitch the curb or something like that. So we're raising it up to where the 3600 is. Um, and we've changed the oil on the 8110. We might as well just drag it on over and get it hooked up. Sorry you guys didn't get to watch dirty oil drain out of the bottom of the tractor. See if we can get the DTS 10 out of the way here. See if it'll start. They just had it running the other day. I give it good chances. Wait for it to glow plug. Look at Colt go. Look at him go. Got her. How's the fuel situation? Okay. I think I'm gonna let this thing run for a little while. It's beautiful out today. That's about right.
if I can remember how to do this. Let's see if we can rotate it. So I think we actually have that hooked up right. So I need to restack this shed so that I can get uh, get that in there and be able to rotate it. Bean parts in there. They got the planter backed in and had to quit for the day because I had to steal Ben because we had to go buy some apple trees. The start of our apple orchard purchased and we'll probably be planting those in the next couple weeks. Hi little puppy. Well here's your time to shine. Is there anything that we can think of that's in the warm area that we can do productive? We could put our planter seat so on. Maybe fix up our planter, our pumpkin planter. It's probably not as high a priority as like getting the main crop planter ready to roll. Yeah, but that's not warm. <laughs> no, it's not warm. I was really hopeful that you, yes, you did wear your overalls. I 100% brought my overalls just, but I didn't want to wear them because it's like, I didn't want to look like a puss. I'll be the puss. <laughs> <laughs> you brought your overalls. Mine are in the back seat. It's cold in here now. It's gonna be cold in there anyways. Days. Two helpings at lunch. More insulation. All right. So we're here. We're fixing to do the dang deal. And I'm putting on my bibs because. What a wuss. Yeah, I know. I can't believe this I guy. literally did not wear my bibs into work because I was like, I don't want to wear my bibs because I don't want to be the only one wearing bibs today when it's 32 degrees outside. Show up and cowboy over here has got his bibs on. Hey, I'm going to say this for myself. On the other side of the lake this morning, when I went to feed all my horses and stuff like that, it was straight snowing like big, big snow. It's like, snowing right now. Yeah, the snowflakes over there, I'm not kidding you, are like huge, or they were. I had my hood on and I was, had to walk sideways because it was coming straight <laughs> sideways. I, I walked out to the barn and it was coming straight in my face. So anyway, we're farming now. We're gonna be taking back uh, the 3605 into bean planting mode. It's in corn planting mode since we planted the uh, the corn maze with it. First thing we're gonna do, or Colt's gonna do, is take off all the orange air plugs. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is probably watch my YouTube video on how to change it to a corn plant uh, planter. Uh, so I know exactly the opposite of what I'm supposed to do to replace it. And you think I'm joking, but no, I'm, I'm seriously gonna do that. You never seen a guy that watches his own. You ever seen a guy that watches his own? Like, YouTube. little do you know that I YouTube for my own like personal record keeping on what I do and how I do it. She's 21 years old. Gosh dang it! This guy puts ads on his YouTube videos. Time for an upgrade. That's that's the video. If you guys wanted to go watch it for. Welcome back. We've got a surprise. For what we got going on? What we're gonna do is um, lower all the pusher units down. the easy way. Did you see the lever on the bottom? This lever? Yeah, you just flip it backwards? Yeah, that's it. You just yeah. showed me how to do it on that one. That's why I did it. Well, I didn't know how to do it. Well, you just showed me how to do it. Heave! <laughs> okay. We're gonna go do the rest of those. Holt is putting the brush meters plates in which I'll show you one of those here in a second I'm gonna do the couple of things that we need to do to get it back to corn or beans rotate these clutch deals so that the front row units will spin when the motor drives them and then open up the front airbags with the little deal somebody made a good YouTube video on that to 
remind himself of it. We might try to test out the hydraulic drives, see every, make sure everything's working on that. All right, put in some meters. Thought he was bringing me one. So this is as simple as this. Take the Bean cell, 45 or 54 cell, that's what we're using. Just drops in there, push it down, spin it a little bit, take the, the locking mechanism, turn it, clicks into place. Put it back home, put that back on. Engage it, put the depth at the right spot. Going in the four slots, put the ASD tube back on, engage the drive. That's it. The only other thing that I think the front's probably done, um, but you need to go check it, but probably is, is that the down pressure is on the closing wheels is set neutral for the row that is behind transport tires we just let it close itself with the transport tire make sure that we didn't have a mouse chew on a down pressure hose or something like that i'm gonna go plug in my air compressor get some air going into these bags got that kicked in i thought that'd be more of a project but the guy that cleaned it out was thinking ahead and put the shells of the bee meters in so how many <clears throat> and took the corn meters out what? and didn't realize that is there 24 boxes 23 23 23 yeah Mm. Which the only ones we really messed with were the back ones, if you, actually the front ones, so I don't really know. I don't know, I feel like I just did like 17 boxes in about three minutes. Well, Maybe. we were both late to work at 9 o'clock this morning, and it's 10 o'clock. We're basically done doing what I was planning on doing for the day. We go heat check some air, order some C-Man. Yeah, that sounds like something I don't want to do. <laughs> We go break in steers at Murph's. I don't care about that either. I went last <laughs> night. Yeah. Oh, I forgot how to rope. I really don't. Well, you gotta like oh, yeah. you go up and under. Through that. Yep. And then around that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would. Om I don't know if I'd go around or through. Around be fine. Around be stronger. You got two bars that you pull. On. Man, if it was me. I think we need to cut some of this chain off. If it was me, I wouldn't cut any chain off. We're gonna be about right. Cause you don't want that thing to be that real tight. That's probably too tight, ain't it? No. You go turning and stuff like that? No, probably not. I'd I mean, leave it like right just, there. And then you pull this apparatus and pull that through, put that through, right? That's gonna make it, I would go right there. Yeah, but I think you gotta turn her sideways. Go mm -hmm. in the other. Like you need to go into one of those. Oh, okay. And then what, you lay one across there? No, and then I don't think so. I don't think that goes that through. That don't go through this. That way. just you just do this deal. Okay. Which I feel like we should probably go up. Because it's... I don't know. I don't think Maybe. I'd want that any short then. No, you're probably right. We do this deal here. The air compressor distributes the seed throughout this whole thing, or what is? Or is no, the the fan the fan blows air 
through the distributors that are on the front, which are those guys up there. Yeah. So it just blows air in the front and then through and kind of like creates a suction. And then since these will have a low pressure zone, pulls the air out to it, blows it this way. The little air compressor only supplies air to these airbags, like semi airbags for the down pressure. Like that's a always like carry, I think that's called, they call those carry fans or carry, carry, carry fans, but always blowing And this. This here should have air in it. Let's see if we can, there we go. Boom. This here is how much pressure is actually in the airbags. So it says 20. Multiply that by four. That's how much downforce you have in case it didn't show you in your monitor or whatever, but it shows you on the monitor too. But we're going to make sure my airbags all have uh, air in them. No leaks there. And we'll probably call our twister around. So I'm up here on this platform. I'm going to look inside these tanks and just make sure that we don't have any rodents or anything inside of these tanks anywhere that are gonna go through and cause issues when we start. So, there's a little bit of seed left in the bottom of that one, not enough to worry about. No, no animals. And there's the same thing over here, but looks to be no animals. So we should be good to rock and roll come, come time for it to dry up around here. Thing right here. You got a math, if you don't math good, like me. Sometimes it uh, causes some issues. Get it too full or not full enough or uneven or you know things and stuff you'll see that in a couple weeks so we greased all the grease zerks on this bad boy except for like two that are up top we'll have to grab those and then uh the markers too that have i don't think they've ever been unfolded so i have to grease those in case they get unfolded but pick back up you when we go back to working on the next thing all right i got a fun task this morning on a breezy day is uh, we're gonna see if we can get this fifth wheel to slide on this truck. Don't know the last time this fifth wheel has been slid. First thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get the pins to come out. This will be an interesting deal. I hear a whole lot of air moving. Cut air line. First issue found needs an airline splice. Splice. 
push in. Now try it. I don't think it's got a hole in it. I think it's just leaking. Go up there and hit that, that lever. Hit that lever and see if you can get it up. Over. Don't hit the air hose. I think it's oil and bust. Okay, so we've got the pins loose on this. We're gonna try to slide our We're gonna try to move our Dude, I think maybe the best thing for us to do would be to unhook it, Clean it. go take it over to the shop, power wash it, and bring it back over here, grease it, unhook, and go clean up and grease that fifth wheel at the shop. Gotta be pushing 20 years. And that thing I bet hasn't moved for most of that time. So we're getting all the dust and the mud and the buildup from over the years knocked off of it. And then we're gonna grease it and we're gonna get back and see if we can't get that thing to start sliding. Because uh, there may or may not be a little, you know new toy coming i guess you could say so stay tuned and maybe you'll see it something's going on here this is like wore out or something because that blows air back up past that hose um started up and uh we'll hit the actuator and get those dogs to go out and end a few times nicely yeah it's gonna move i think Worst case scenario, we drive back over here again. We're gonna go uh, try again. We're gonna have to end this video here. While I thought I was gonna end this video multiple times in different ways, it has uh, changed out. So we were gonna go after a sprayer trailer for this truck. Um, we had to make sure that it was moved backwards. That's why we did that. The sprayer trailer still wouldn't fit it might have gotten something to pull that trailer and then that trailer sold so we've had yeah needless to say how i was going to end this video has been messed up but we're going to grease it rehook it back up to this thing uh, next video or two colt's going to do some irish dancing no i'm kidding but anyways we're going to be planting soybeans getting started uh we'll see you guys in the next one 
Look at this. Look at this shot that I'm about to get right here. Oh, Look at this. <laughs> That's dang good. <laughs> Probably looking right at the crotch.